In this video, I'm going to show you the best and fastest way to solve this interesting dilution calculations questions from one of our viewers and we are starting right now. Hello, this is Dr. Dankwa and if this is your first time here and you like to learn pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks and strategies then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Now if you need a more comprehensive tutorial on dilution calculations or you simply want to see more solved examples, I'm going to put a link to a playlist in the description and I'm going to link the playlist in the cards as well. But let's get right to the question. The question says what is the percentage strength volume in volume of alcohol in a mixture of 3000 milliliters of 40% volume in volume alcohol? 1000 milliliters of 60% volume in volume alcohol and 1000 milliliters of 70% volume in volume alcohol. Assume no contraction of volume after mixing. Now typically when you have a dilution calculations questions there are two ways you can solve them. You can use the allegation method or the algebraic method. Now it's important to know this useful tip. Anytime you're supposed to find the final concentration the best approach is actually to use the algebraic method because it's going to save you a lot of time down the line. So we are going to use the algebraic method to solve this question. The other thing that's important to notice, in this question you have three components that you are mixing. So you are going to use the modified form of the general algebraic equation for three components. And this is how it's going to look like. You're going to have C1Q1 plus C2Q2 plus C3 Q3 equals C final Q final. So here C1 is the concentration of the first component. Q1 is the quantity of the first component. C2 is the concentration of the second component. And Q2 is the quantity of the second component. C3 is the concentration of the third component. And Q3 is the quantity of the third component. Now CF is the concentration of your final product and QF is the quantity of your final product. So for this question, we're going to designate the 40% as C1 and the 3000 as Q1. C2 is going to be 60% and Q2 is going to be 1000. C3 is going to be 70% and Q3 is going to be 1000. So for clarity, we're going to have here C1 being equal to 40% and Q1 is going to be equal to 3000 milliliters. Now C2 is going to be equal to 60% and Q2 is going to be equal to the corresponding volume which is 1000 milliliters. Now C3 is going to be equal to 70% and Q3 is going to be equal to 1000 milliliters. Now CF, which is the final concentration, is actually what you are looking for. So we're just going to leave that as CF. And QF, which is the final quantity, is not actually given us, but we've been given enough information to determine QF. And the way we determine QF, which is the final quantity, is that your QF is equal to Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. Now from a physical picture standpoint, you are mixing all the three components together and since you are assuming no contraction of volume, then the final quantity is going to be the sum of the individual components that you actually mix together. And so mathematically, we can re substitute the values for Q1, Q2 and Q3 into the equation. And so QF is going to be equal to 3000 milliliters plus 1000 milliliters plus 1000 milliliters which implies that QF is actually equal to 5000 milliliters. So we can just complete our data set and QF is going to be 5000 milliliters. Now from our equation there are eight terms and out of those eight terms we know seven of them. So we can go ahead and substitute all those seven into the equation and then solve for the unknown which is the final concentration. And so what that would look like then is we will have C1, which is 40, so 40% 40 times the Q1, which is 3000 milliliters plus 
C2, which is 60% times 1,000 milliliters plus 70% times 1,000 milliliters. And that should be equal to CF times 5,000 milliliters. And so we can go ahead and do the simplification. And that would imply that you have 120,000 milliliters plus 60,000 milliliters plus 70,000 milliliters. And that's equal to CF times 5,000 milliliters. Now, it's actually supposed to be milliliters percent, but when we do the final manipulation, we'll add the percentage later to the answer. But we can go ahead and continue the simplification process. So we add up all the numbers on the left-hand side of the equation, and that should give us 250,000 milliliters, and that's equal to CF, that's the final concentration, times 5,000 milliliters. So we can divide both sides by 5,000 milliliters, and this would imply that CF, which is the final concentration, is going to be equal to 50%. So we can do a quick analysis to find out whether the answer that we got actually makes sense. The first thing you want to do is make sure that the final concentration, it's not greater than the highest concentration that you mixed, and it's also not lower than the lowest concentration. So in this question, the lowest concentration is 40% and the highest concentration is 70%. And so the 50% that we got as the answer actually falls between those two extremes. And that's important. The other thing that you also could infer from the question is because you have a lot more, that's 3000 ml or the 40%, then you expect the final concentration to be closer to the 40 than it would be to the 70. So indeed, the answer that we got is not only accurate, but also makes physical sense as well. Now, there are several examples that we've solved using the algebraic method when it comes to dilution calculations, and I'm going to put a link to a playlist in the description and link into the cards as well. So, I hope you found this video tutorial useful. If you did, be sure to like it and share it, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll get to them as soon as I see them. If you'd like to learn more pharmaceutical calculations, tips, tricks, and strategies, then start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.